Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and today we're gonna just go through the questions real quick. This event that is going on all the way until I think the end of May, and some of you are asking which is the items you should be picking to get the best head start possible. Now, one thing to know is that all the gear or the relics in the game can go up to the 5 star equivalent, which is like the gold background. And the ones that they're actually giving are 4 stars, which means that you will eventually replace them. So some of you who are planning more long term, you actually don't really care about this gear because eventually they will be just be used as fodder later on. So the first things first, what you want to do is you definitely should take the light cone because light cones are generally harder to get, especially if you need to make pulls to get them. Uh, whereas for the relics, they are much easier to come by because you can just trade energy for them later on. But in order to get the best possible hit start, I actually highly recommend you pick up the Musketeer set instead of the Thief Mirat set. And the main reason for that is the Thief Mirat set is actually a break but a bonus, whereas the Musketeer set is an attack bonus. It's something like for those of you who come from Genshin, it's like Gladiator's Finale and Shiminawa's Reminiscent, for example. So you actually want to focus on this set instead of this set. And personally, I am going to be taking the gloves instead of the hat because the gloves gives you flat attack and the hat gives you flat HP. Uh, same for the, the break damage. In the early game, break is not as important. You just want to be doing a lot of damage as you can and getting the attack set, especially when it's already flat attack, uh, you can just pump it up all the way with all your gear and then use that single gear. You invest everything into this and it can clear all the first few stages very, very quickly. So I will highly recommend this one for everyone to start off with. I'll be doing a relic guide immediately after this as well. So you guys can check it out on the channel. I'll probably link it in a video card here as well if it's already ready. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.